While shooting the Hexart video, we needed some extra RGB during the final shots and used these USB lights with blue and purple gels. I really liked the look we got, but I wanted something more permanent. So I scrolled to Amazon for uplights and could only find overkill or underkill. Nothing that really worked for me. So instead, I got a lamp kit and these RGB Zigbee smart bulbs. Then I went to Fusion 360 to work out how it would all come together. I came up with this. Since I had hexagons on my mind, that's the main shape I used. The uplight is constructed using an internal support structure connected to the outer panels via tabs. It is intended to be entirely laser cut so it can be assembled quick. I chose to use 1 8 inch walnut plywood as the material because we really love walnut around here. The Glowforge makes quick work out of cutting out all the pieces. The video is obviously sped up here, but out of all the machines we have, the laser cutter is the quickest to get production ready parts from. I only had to cut out two sheets worth of parts, and each sheet took about 10 minutes max to cut. I masked just one side of the plywood, knowing that only one side would be visible on the finished piece. This makes it much faster to remove the mask. On to assembly, here's everything I needed. Laser cut pieces, RGB bulb, some washers, nuts for the lamp rod, the lamp rod nipple, the lamp socket. First I have to stack the base plates and screw in the lamp rod, fixing it in place with the nuts and washers. The lamp socket screws onto the lamp rod. Each side panel is attached using the tabs on the internal supports. I make sure it all fits together and looks good, before I disassemble and reassemble, but this time with CA glue holding it together. To make sure there wasn't any light leak between the panels, I covered them with aluminum tape on the inside. Later in the video, you might catch that the entire inside top of the panels is covered in aluminum tape. I did that to be as efficient with light as I could. As always, a coat of Danish oil is added to bring out that beautiful walnut. With that, it's done have to screw in the bulb and see how it looks. This was a pretty fun project and I really like the way the light bursts up from behind the chair. With the magic of making two of them, I also have one in the other corner of the room, but wait. Something, something isn't quite working here. As you can see, it's pretty much just a light bulb on the floor, and that's kind of bad when there's nothing shading that light. Easy problem to solve if I had room for another chair, but in this case, not so much. Taking a crack at the problem with some CAD, lower tech than Fusion, I devised a plan, then actually used Fusion to update my model. Luckily, I could remove the old panels without destroying the entire lamp, cut out the new longer ones, and then assemble and apply the oil again. <laughs> 